Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drury with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. If you've ever been involved in an accident, uh, automobile accident, front end, rear end, T-bone, any type of collision with a motor vehicle, uh, I want to express to you how important it is that you get your nerve system, specifically the upper part of your neck, checked out. I would say 90% of my patients that come to me over the last 26 years have come in as a result of some sort of a trauma, like a motor vehicle accident that happened weeks, months, many times though, it's many years later. What happens is, is a typical auto accident is a whiplash type movement where your body stops and your head keeps going or your head stops and your body keeps going. What happens is, the bones in the upper part of the neck, the head sits on top of it. That head weighs 10 to 12 pounds. So when that force hits, of course, that head is going to swing back and forth. Well, the, uh, right underneath the head are the top two bones in the neck, the most freely movable bones in your entire body. So that whiplash force takes that big, heavy head and pulls on those bones forwards or backwards or can actually even misalign the head relative to those top two bones. Well, what's important about that area is that's where the brain stem comes out. So the brain's obviously inside the skull. The bottom of the brain, the brain stem actually extends down through the first two bones, then becomes spinal cord the rest of the way down. The brain stem is so important. It sends the messages from your brain to every part of your body, to your heart, your liver, your lungs, your kidneys, your arms, your legs. Every message, even up into the head, face, and neck, your hearing, your taste, your smell, your vision, all comes through that brain stem. So if one of the bones got misaligned in the upper part of the neck, creating pressure on the nerve system, kind of like stepping on a garden hose, you're going to diminish the normal message from the brain to any one or multiple parts of the body. Over time, those parts of the body start to not work the way they're intended to work. It could be uh, affecting the stomach so your digestion doesn't work like it should or the lower digestion doesn't move like it's supposed to. It can affect your blood pressure. It can affect your heart rate. It can affect how well you sleep. It can affect um, your energy levels. It can affect every part of your entire body because all the messages from the brain to the body go through those top two bones. So musculoskeletally what can happen is we these bones up here let's start with let's go back to the accident okay the accident happens typically at first you'll feel maybe a little bit of soreness maybe some aches and pains okay so that's the muscles that have been stretched or or pulled and as the bones move out of position the ligaments the tendons they all go with it so they get sore they get inflamed they get irritated so typically you go to the medical doctor maybe the hospital and typical treatment is muscle relaxers and pain pills. So the muscle relaxers make the muscles relax so they're not so tense and the pain pills cover up the symptoms while the muscles and ligaments and tendons heal, but they heal now the bones out of position. Muscles and ligaments are what react. Muscles and ligaments heal, but the bones still out of position. So it's going to do two things. One, it's going to interfere with the message from your brain to your body, like we suggested. It's also going to now throw the brain, the head, out of balance. How does the body respond to that? Well, let's say for me the bone went to the right and it took my head that way. Well, the brain doesn't work when it's off level. So what the brain will do is force your body to compensate to level the brain. It can cause you to drop one shoulder, pull up one hip, force your body to compensate, creating now new weaknesses that over time can turn into neck pain, upper back shoulder pain, it can affect your lower back, it can affect the discs that come out so that it can cause pain down the leg. So you can have musculoskeletal aches and pains now from an accident that happened possibly years ago. So if you've ever been in some sort of a motor vehicle accident or some sort of trauma that caused your body to stop and your head to keep going or your head to stop and your body to keep going, please find an upper cervical chiropractor near you. Get checked to see if maybe that accident from sometime in your past is what's now created the health problems that you currently have. Um, in Charlotte, we're the upper cervical doctor for you. Pineville Matthews, Mid Hill, uh, Belmont, Gastonia, Lake Norman, Lake Wiley, 
Fort Mill, Rock Hill. We're the upper cervical doctor for you. Give our office a call. Matter of fact, we never charge for the initial consultation to see what your needs are. If we do find that you have a problem in the upper part of your neck that we think we can help you with, we'll explain to you what we need to do from there on. If we don't, then we'll be happy to try to find another specialist that we believe that can help you. So if you've been in a car wreck and some sort of automotive vehicle, some, any sort of trauma to the head, neck, or back, get checked. Call our office today, 704-588-5560. Just tell the girls you saw a, a video Dr. Drury did, and we'll be happy to get you in to find out uh, what exactly is the source of your aches and pains and what we can or cannot do to help you. I hope this video helps you. If it did, please share it. Hope you have a great afternoon. Look forward to meeting you.